Oh my gosh, finally it smells right and looks right. This is like my third attempt. Hey guys, last week I made um, the whipped coffee with a blender and also with instant coffee and sugar. Did it totally wrong. You might want to take a look at the video if you want to, but this is the better one. Big thank you for everyone who subscribed to the Stony W channel. Here's the real recipe. You use one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of instant coffee, and three quarters tablespoon of hot water and 10 minutes of spoon whipping to get this. This is basically what I did for 10 minutes, just constantly rotating my hand and wrist to get this whipping um, air into that mixture of um, instant coffee and sugar and three quarters um, spoon of hot water into this mixture to make this. It took roughly around anywhere from I think six to 10 minutes. I think it's closer to 10 minutes after I did this, but this is the proper way of doing it instead of using the magic bullet. The magic bullet tank couldn't whip enough uh, stuff into it. It worked, it tasted great. It looked similar to this, but it didn't come to this foamy consistency that everyone on the internet, on TikTok, and everything else is talking about. So this is the real way of doing it. I'm just so sorry I posted the other one. It does taste good, and it, it's how I make the coffee if I wanted a blended uh, mixed iced coffee, but this is that, um, that other one where it's Long one? I don't know how to say it, but anyways, this is really awesome. It's like it's like creamy espresso uh, that looks like peanut butter. So it smells really great, like super, like coffee. Uh, at the same time, less water helps. So I actually use uh, like I said before, one tablespoon of instant coffee, one tablespoon of sugar, mix with a spoon with um, basically hot water. Hot water, I only added about three quarters tablespoon. So not equal parts. So this was a lot easier with less water and with a single motion of this with the spooning. I basically spooned this thing like quite, I don't know, quite a thousand times I'm guessing. No, I'm, I'm joking. That It's about 10 minutes of spooning like this to make this consistency. I start rotating the cup as I spoon it. So now it looks like peanut butter and it is it smells really great. Like like espresso coffee, which is sweet espresso coffee. This is really cool. Um, and I can see why people on the internet love this thing. It's it's creamy, it's extremely strong, uh, because that's basically two tablespoons of instant coffee. That's That makes probably a really strong cup of coffee, or like two or three cups of coffee, it depends on how well you like your coffee strength to, to be. So for myself, I'm gonna put it either over milk or over iced uh, soybean milk or oat milk if you want, whichever one. You know, check out the links below if you want for more stuff and, uh, and instructions and also the ingredients. Um, but soy milk is mine. I'm gonna basically put some soy milk in here because that's what I have and an ice cube. And this stuff is thick. So you're supposed to mix this into it later. And let's go ahead and put a dollop of the stuff in there. Really strong, guys. So I suggest you totally mix this thing before eat or before drinking this, um, and do not put the entire mixture into your into your small small um, um, cup of milk. You might want to put like eight ounces of milk, or maybe even a little bit more, because this stuff is really thick. It's really concentrated coffee, so it is very delightful, and it gives a really high good high to drink this, but. Again, I only put half the amount in there. So you're supposed to mix and stir this thing so that it becomes part of the coffee drink, like iced coffee, but it's really, really strong. Again, if you could, you know, if you like to, go ahead and try it out. It's it's really kind of enjoyable to do it. After a while, you know, it doesn't really require a blender to do this. And to use a spoon to do it, I think it's the best way now. Because if I use a whip, um, a whisk, it, May not have been the same way. I mean, I basically just spoon this thing, spoon whip this thing for a good, what, probably around 10 minutes. It was really enjoyable after a while. And it did aerate enough so it has it in. But for effect, I'm putting pretty much all of it in just so I could get a good photo of this. Of course, I'm going to dilute this a little later with more milk um, or soybean milk. So, really delicious. Look how thick that is. And since it's cold milk, and the ice cube, it is really thick. So it's congealing actually. 
we're not congealing, it's breaking apart. So I'm just gonna mix it in. Again, this is super concentrated um, coffee. I wouldn't drink it like this. I did a little, but then I, I eventually have to dilute it a little bit more with some more soybean um, milk or oat milk. Anywho, big thanks for watching. Again, you know, this is, I posted that previous video, incorrect. This is way better and it tastes much better and it looks like the real thing versus whipped coffee and mixed coffee. But at the end, you go make it into iced coffee anyways. So big thank you for subscribing. Look for, for other cooking videos and stuff and DIYs, as well as how to, you know, fix things around the house mainly and how to fix things in general. That's why I made this channel. And of course, also Costco finds as well, but mostly DIYs and other fun stuff. See you next time. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification button as well as check out other playlists on my channel. Thanks a lot.